Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to run and create our final Mart DBT model. So basically, till now we have seen how does our DBT project looks like, what are the different components of it. We have understood that. After that, we have also created our basic project where we have uh, create where we have connected to BigQuery. We have used the BigQuery open data set to load the data into the staging layer. We have created staging models. From staging models, we have also created intermediate model where we are joining the tables created in the staging module, right? In the staging module, whatever tables we have created, we are joining it to create intermediate models. And now we will use intermediate tables to create our final aggregated data marts. Now this can be used for your Power BI purposes or any aggregated level work that you want to do. So this is what we are going to do. And of course we have, you know, understood other basic concepts of DBT as well. What are macros, you know, and how can you actually add tests as well. Definitely we are going to, after this, after this, uh, you know, this particular video, we are going to move forward and we are going to work more towards how to, you know, add more, uh, you know, more level of tests, you know, more advanced level of tests inside DBT, that kind of things we are going to see. We are going to see how we can use macros as well in DBT. So let's move ahead. But before moving ahead, do, uh, do remember to subscribe to my channel and as well as like this particular video. I do recommend all of you guys to connect with me on LinkedIn as well. So as we move ahead, you guys already know that this is the project that we have created. This is the staging layer. This is the intermediate. And now I'll go to models and create a new folder called as Marts. Now inside this Marts, I will create one new file and I will call it as orders dot SQL. So here I am going to use one of the SQL that I have defined. Let me copy this particular SQL over here to explain you guys. So if you see, this is the this is the SQL uh, or this is the model file that is created. Now here, what we are doing is, if you go back to the BigQuery, right? We have created this intermediate table. So we will use this intermediate table and we will use this staging table, stage e-commerce orders table. We are going to join these two tables and get an aggregated data from these two tables. So if I come to the orders table, right? You can see what I'm, uh, okay, let me go to the products table first. So right now you can see that at the very first place, what is happening? A CT is being created. So it is using a reference function to refer to this intermediate table that has been created, intermediate product table. So from that, we are picking up order ID and of course, we are aggregating, you know, item sale price, product cost, item profit, item discount, right? So these are the columns, item sale price, product cost, item profit, item discount. So these are the uh, columns that we are picking up and aggregating and then we go to the orders table now if you go over here then what i'm doing i am using this cd that is created over here to join it with the orders staging table so i'm using again a reference function in built function in built module now stg e-commerce order and i'm joining it with the measures on order id and then i'm fetching a few columns from both this order item measures and as well as from the orders table as well so this is an aggregation that is being performed so let me simply save it right so now once i save it what i'll do is i'll create another new file and i will call it as orders.yaml file now in this yaml file i do need to give all the description of the columns and any tests that i want to perform or may not want to perform right so this let me just correct the indentation over here and then let me save it so if you see over here in the orders.yaml file, it is exactly the same way we have been doing it for all the other models as well. So I am saying that, hey, go and look at the orders model. In the orders model, you know, we have this order ID. This should be unique because we have defined the test as well. And there should be a relationship between the stage e-commerce order because we are doing a join, right? So here what happened is we are defining a test that whatever order id you are fetching 
that order id should be present in the stage e-commerce orders table as well now similarly whatever are the other columns you know we are not performing you know test on all of these columns but we are giving just the description over here now similarly the aggregated columns we are performing a not null test on that so this is a pretty simple yaml file which you guys can also write it on your own very easily and let me simply save it right now these now i have created the model file i have created the let me just clear this and i have created the yaml file as well now if i want to run it right what i can simply do i can simply say dbt run minus s orders right what it will do it is going to run my dbt model right now it says error near, near syntax line 10 so okay let us see where exactly it is talking about so it is talking about packages dot yaml file so let us go to this particular file and see where exactly is our syntactical error so okay so you can see there's an extra mark over here let me go back and just save this file and then let me go back to the terminal just clear it and run the same command dbt run minus hyphen s orders right okay i have missed the spelling again it is again going to throw you error and let me rewrite it and here you go so now you can see that it has started running your model and once it has run the model we will also run the testing file the yaml file as well so it has completed successfully so let me simply say dbt test orders so now this will eventually okay i forgot to put minus s minus s basically means select and enter so the moment i do that basically it will start running your test file and you can actually see that it has started running all the test and eventually it said that it is completed successfully so now if i go back to my bigquery project and i just do a refresh i should have my aggregated table as well orders so you can see here orders has also come up these are the columns that we wanted it to contain right so basically if you see over here these two have been created as a view right so sometime if this is the case that is happening what you can actually do is let me clear this first you can simply say dbt clean and after doing this dbt clean you can simply say dbt depths which is actually going to reinstall all your packages and once your packages are reinstalled you can do dbt run again so this dbt run is actually going to uh, you know completely run all the models that are present so now this is going to take a little bit of time because it is going to run your all the models you know your staging models your intermediate models you can actually see that it is running and it is saying create table create table and then you can actually see that it has completed it successfully so now if i go and refresh the contents again you can actually see that it has created these two as a table as well right so this is something that i've already created a video on right to go adding a materialized table instead of a view so in case you still have an issue you are not able to uh, you know see it as a view what you can do is we, we will talk about this point as well later on uh, in orders.sql file or any model file you can go at the top and you can simply put this configuration as well so what this configuration will do is this configuration this these curly brackets configuration and materialized equal to table if you want to do that and you can click on control save so what what will happen is wherever you have added this particular feature it is going to create it as a materialized table so this is also one thing otherwise you can also go to your dbt project.yaml file which i told you earlier where you can put this uh, plus materialized table right and also uh, what you can do is you can simply say dbt run hyphen hyphen full hyphen refresh so what it is going to do is everything is it is going to create it from the beginning right so since just now i have changed the configuration so right now i it already ran but uh, even in your case if it does not run due to any kind of package issues or anything of that sort then you can do this part as well where you can go to the particular model file and you can put this configuration 
right we are going to talk about this configuration or this template later on as well and then you can do after saving this you can simply do dvd run full refresh so now when you run it it is going to recreate all the models that you have mentioned so i hope you understood uh, the whole objective of dbt that how you have taken the data from dbt bigquery you have created staging tables you have created your intermediate and then you have created your uh, gold layer or the data marks so it is exactly like you know your bronze silver and gold in case you know databricks or even in case of your traditional etl there also you have your ods layer you know then in between you have one more layer and then you have your final layer so there also you have three layers right where you keep the data then you perform some uh, then you apply some cleansing on the data and then you aggregate the final business rules at the march level so this is exactly how your tbt basic project looks like we are going to enhance it even more so I hope you like this particular video. I do remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. So thank you so much for being till here and as well as supporting my channel. Thank you so much.